ninjas had a request, how to attack inside the relay. I posted a clip of me doing that, I think twice. Had one of the uh, students ask me to break that down. Here's a small, short breakdown of how I was able to make that happen. Good checks. So, um, I did it against Masato, Masato, Kill Max champion, uh, in my opinion, the best Japanese kickboxer ever. Uh, what I was able to do to him though, was his back in the corner, wanting him to get away. So the jab, the look, and then he stood right there and started watching me. So, I knew he's probably gonna block the next low kick. So when they go to block, that's when you shuffle from inside, attack inside the relay. But I don't want you to be a friend of him. You gotta be outside, so you attack inside the relay. The first time I hit the kick, I remember, oh yeah, I'm supposed to block that. Yes, you are. But if I throw a regular kick right here, he can't block that, okay? You gotta go for me next. Right in front of him, if he can block it, and it's hard for him to get inside that relay. But if I'm outside here and he blocks, now I have that wide opening to attack inside the relay, okay? Well, I didn't get Kozo, that's who it was. So, jab low kick, cool. And it's just high low. He's getting on the blink. Now he got a kick, he's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to block that. I know. So I'm gonna use my hook now. So the jab, I'm my hook. And your hook is a traveler. Use that to get outside, and it doesn't have to land. I can just touch the guard, I get him to blink. That shuffles me outside to attack inside the relay, okay? Um, Masato actually thrown the ropes and then they broke us. Um, I did it against Kozo. With Kozo, I was able to take out his leg and he fell down a little bit and I was kicked in the head. I missed that kick, I'm glad I did. I didn't want to hurt him that bad. It wasn't that good. But a way to attack the inside of the relay, setting up by first hitting a low kick. Boom. Again, he knows he's supposed to block that. Go ahead and block that. I'm shuffling outside to attack inside the relay. So if you want to attack inside the relay, shuffle outside. Get outside of him because it lines up the hips. Can't attack inside that leg from here. I gotta get here. He's not always just to let me move and get there. So I need to make sure my ticket in to get him to blink and occupy his thoughts so I can get in position. There's a hook. Boom, right there. I can hook and touch on the guard. So this is the way I'd like to see you do the drill. Jab low. Boom. On the motion, I'm gonna hook on that mitt, but I'm gonna travel outside. So I'm not in front of him. I'm gonna get my lead foot outside his rear foot. Boom. And that's just karaoke. I'm just swing this. Karaoke is one of our warm-up drills. Karaoke in the feet. If you're not swoop your hips and then use that momentum. So, jab low. Now I'm in karaoke. It's that leg. Now, if you lift low, you're gonna telegraph what about the kick in the leg. So I would recommend to keep watching the chest. Make sure that looks like the time of kicks. Cool. You stay alert, how do you have it? Okay, so small breakdown of how to attack inside the rear leg. First set up the low kick. Second time. Get outside so you can actually line up your foot from proper placement to tap inside that rear leg. Coach X, thank you, sir. Enjoy, grasshoppers. Our goal is to spread martial arts to the world and positively impact as many lives as we can for many years to come. In order to make Bang Muay Thai more accessible to everyone, we launched courses.bangmuaythai.com so you can learn all of our BMT techniques. And if you own a school and want to become an official Bang Muay Thai affiliate and teach our tried and true curriculum, our link is in the bio.